<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good day, everyone. And today, you're welcome to Cetra's Comedy Kitchen. I'm a big joking, Cetra. And I always have my funny husband. This is how the professor said, Doriko, the cook, the most handsome, yet the most handsome. Gang, 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 gang. Gang, gang, gang. Okay. Mr. Professor Cetrico, yeah, yeah. ka, 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 ka. what are you cooking for us today? Today, actually, I'm not going to be speaking the way I've been speaking before, because okay. I'm taking you out of this continent into what I call intercontinental disease. Sorry, that's, that's like, like uh, Ibadan. That sounds like Ibadan. Okay, I'm going to be preparing what we call intercontinental dishes, and this is what we call the only food that can change change your system from being ibuibushios to lekasha. So without wasting time, I'm going to be taking you step by step analysis on how to construct, sorry, on how to cook, is or how to, prepare, on how to prepare. <laughs> what are you preparing? Dominican salad. <laughs> this is what I call Dominican salad. Dominican salad. Dominican salad. If you are, if you are from Dominican, if you just buzz me there, this is the kind of salad we eat when we get out of this country to go and chill out there. You see, it's not falling. So <laughs> you falls. You are not a professional cook. These are your cooks, professional. Ah. Yes. Ah -ah. You have to be sure. Ah ah. Yeah. He does this lot. <laughs> you have to balance well. Ah uh ah. -uh. Yes. Are you cutting more than this egg? God, I think I almost cut my finger. Ah, uh, because you're Whenever you are preparing Dominican salad, you are trying to watch the weight of your loved one, of yourself and your dog. <laughs> and since I don't have a dog, I have my loved one and myself. And since I shape, if you want to maintain this shape, this is what I prepare for her. And I shape it work. Eh? Civilized. Now, what you would do is this. These are Professor Andrew's kitchen. See? <laughs> you don't use all Professor Setori yeah. the cooker. The first thing first, you pull this from what we call the ash tray. Ash tray. This is not ash, that's your problem. What I know is that me, I call it by the name of this. <laughs> Whatever name. And I call it, yeah. just receive it. That is it. Again, again. After all. Again, gaseous. Adam named everything. Mm -hmm. So this orange trainer is now your ash tree. This is ash tree. This is ash tree. For the best way to enjoy this is you ensure you freeze it. You put it in the fridge. The first thing you do, once you have this, you just spread the leaf on it. Mm -hmm. It's because you are going green. You know, we human beings, the way we are, we are moving from eating just normal meat to eating, we are now competing with goats. <laughs> yes. Because, have you ever seen a goat that is not healthy? Uh -huh. Go and check. That no, all goats, their skin are always very looking healthy. That's why uh, even women now, women, I think, women now, they use goats, goat, goat cream. Mm -hmm. So you have this, the next thing for you to do, just look at the color combination, you can see this. You are moving a little bit away from the green colors. Setorico. 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 Setorico is a professor for excellence when it comes to food. Okay. I got that award from Johannesburg before they started killing their, themselves. You know, I, I've mentioned this in my mind to you. This is what we call carotenoid complex. Mm -hmm. This carrot for small children like you that doesn't know all those baby grammar. How you know someone that is very very good in the kitchen is that they are ratings well. <laughs> they are ratings well. You don't mess up your kitchen. Hey! Yeah, I can see somebody is laughing, laughing at me. Hey! This guy can disorganize the kitchen. Ah. Now this is tomato. Tomato. <laughs> is it tomato? Tomato. Tomatic tomato. <laughs> I know the right word you see. Tomato. Ah. Whatever I call it. Because ah. a prof, a prof is the name of anybody that Some pronounces things <laughs> and the word must accept it. Gen -gen. Yes. Gen -gen. So this is tomato. Tomato is something. Tomato. 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 This is what. This is what helps your body to be shining, like you know. Then I don't play with onion. Onion, onion ah, egg is the last resort. You know why? See, you can see that even my wife doesn't know how this stuff 
goes down. Uh, egg is always the last resort because it's always advisable that you have, because of the uh, flexibility of the egg, that can not make it to accentuate fermentational analysis. So you have to put the egg on it so that by the time you are putting <coughs> salad cream, everything stays in focus. <coughs> now, the next thing is shredded meat. This is optional for those of you that are running away from cow meat. You might not put this. But for some of us, we are not that fat. Can you put, uh, what is it called? We are not. Yeah, you, I would have put uh, shrimps, but um, the poverty index in Nigeria is not advising shrimps to be consumed too much. What a kidnapping. <laughs> so, the next is, you can see, how you can see this. Now, this is the way you know a professional. You scoop it into it, you load it just like that. You create so Professor Seth Toriko the cooker. Yeah. The way you arrange this is what we we'll call Lazion Pelosa. Lazion Pelosa. This is what we we'll call garnishing. So whenever you have something like this that drop, don't drop it in the food, drop it in your mouth. <laughs> Last meal. This is what I call salad cream. Since they have not sponsored this, I decided to also scrape. They are named away. So you can do it on everything or with just dish out. So this is what you do. This is what you do. Uh -uh. Yes. You have to shake your body. If you don't shake your body, it's not to go around the way. Uh -uh. Yes. Uh -huh. Now, when you do like this, just... Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. And you can put everything on. You have two options. If you like cream much, you pour it like so, but since I want to just take part of this, yes, serve it uh -huh. and keep the remaining in the freezer. In the freezer, in the freezer, in the freezer, <laughs> in the freezer. As you can see, Professor Setorico de Cucalicious, he said he's already ready with his Dominican salad. I want to taste it and read it. Okay, yeah. This is what we call Dominican salad, the most expensive food in the whole world. <laughs> If you taste this food, your life is not going to be the same. Okay. So, I was no professor. Uh -uh. <laughs> no. So, at this point in time, the next thing you're going to do is you got to plate it. You got to plate it. You got to plate it. If you're in America, you got to. If you're in Nigeria, you got to plate it. Ensure you work on one side. Don't cut what we call wobbling effect. I think it's tornado. <laughs> So, because this is just testing, I'm not going to take much. The remaining one, you put it in the refrigerator. Now, the next thing to work with is your cream. If you are if you are preparing this in Nigeria, please ensure you pronounce it as a salad cream. For some persons, you think you are actually using your wife's cream. On your cream. Mix it like so. 